so coming to the average value so the definition of average value is the voltage at which the charge transferred in dc circuit is equal to the charge transferred in an ac circuit provide the resistances values is same and the operating period is also same and uh, here i am applying dc voltage to the resistance uh, in the current which is flowing here is idc and the dc currents are written with capital letters and dc quantities are written with capital letters and uh, ac quantities are represented with the instantaneous values of the voltages are represented with small letters so the, what is the charge formula generally the charge formula is q is equal to it so this is the sinusoidal waveform of the current on x axis i am taking a time and y axis i am taking a current so this is a symmetrical waveform and the positive of cycle magnitude is equal to the maximum value uh, and negative is also same and also the waveform will be symmetrical symmetrical with respect to x axis and that's why for the symmetrical waveform if you are if you want to calculate the average value the average value for a pure sinusoidal waveform so for a pure sinusoidal waveform is zero so why because uh, let us take some values 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 so 0 at t1 t2 3 3 and uh, plus i maximum again it is 3 plus 2 plus 1 and plus 0 minus of again it will be increasing in the negative portion and again it will be decreases towards the zero and uh, the same values are repeating here and like that x minus of x that should be equal to zero for the symmetrical waveform we are considering only positive half cycle for a symmetrical waveform we can consider full cycle so this is a symmetrical waveform that's why i am considering the half cycle x on y axis it is current and x axis is time so there is called the omega t r t this half cycle can be divided into n equal intervals of time and that let us say small t is called the time period of this waveform small t is called the time period of this waveform and this x axis can be divided into n equal intervals of time n equal intervals of time this is t1 and t2 t3 t4 so on up to tn at t1 the instantaneous value of the current is i1 at t2 the instantaneous value of current is i2 at t3 the instantaneous value of current is i3 at t4 it is i4 at tn the instantaneous value of current is in and here equal intervals of time you can divide this t with equal intervals now t1 is equal to t2 is equal to t3 is equal to so on tn is equal to small t divided by n equal n intervals of n divisions n so this is t by n t by n t by n t by n the fraction so and n equal intervals you can divide and the heat charge produced in an ac circuit at t1 is equal to i1 into t1 so sorry this i1 is a small value uh, representation is small i1 into t1 so i1 into t divided by n i1 into t divided by n and uh, at t2 the charge at t2 is equal to i2 into t2 that is i2 into t by n and the charge transferred at t3 is i3 into t3 that is i3 into t by n similarly the charge transferred at tn is equal to the current is in instantaneous value of current is in into tn so in into t by n so this is uh, from ac side coming to the dc charge transferred in dc circuit is equal to capital i into t this is called the average value so now the charge transferred in dc is equal to charge transferred in 
AC. So I average into T is equal to I1 into T by N plus I2 into T by N plus I3 into T by N so on I N into T divided by N take T is common then I will get the answer I average into T is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3 so on I N divided by N and the T T will be cancelled finally the average value is I1 plus I2 plus I3 so on I N divided by N so this is the average value of the current similarly the average value of the voltage is V1 plus V2 plus V3 so on Vn divided by n. So coming to the analytical method here also I am considering the only positive of cycle. So on x axis it is omega t and 0 to pi and the maximum value of the current is im and on x axis I am taking the current. So I am taking a small portion let's say this is d theta integration of this waveform into d theta, d theta then I will get the area average value of uh, waveform average value average value over half cycle half cycle is equal to the limits are 0 to pi the equation is i theta i into d theta i is i m sin theta into d theta the length of the base the length of the base is pi so the average value over half cycle is equal to this area of over half cycle divided by length of the base what is integration 0 to pi i d theta is area of sine wave over half cycle the average value over half cycle can be defined as it is a ratio of area of sine wave over half cycle divided by length of the base now the average value is equal to 1 by pi integration of 0 to pi i m sin theta into d theta so 1 by pi i m integration of sin theta can be written as minus cos theta so minus cos theta the limits are 0 to pi so i m divided by minus i m divided by pi so this is cos theta 0 to pi so minus i m by pi so cos pi if you substitute the upper limit cos pi lower limit is cos 0 and minus i m divided by pi into cos pi is minus 1 cos 0 is also cos 0 is 1 minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 minus 2 into minus 1 is 2 i m divided by pi the average value of sinusoidal half cycle is average value is 2 i m divided by pi and in terms of value is 0 0.632 times of maximum value if you go for the v average also 0 0.632 times of v maximum v maximum so what are the advantages or application of average value or importance of average value generally the dc quantities are measured the dc quantities are measured in average values average values and uh, DC voltmeters and ammeters 
are also uh, meters are also measured average value only the DC quantities are measured in RMS values and in a rectifier circuits also in a rectifier circuits we are measuring average values the value is measured in terms of average only and um, the average value of pure sinusoidal waveform is zero is zero that's it so once again the average value of over half cycle is equal to area of sine wave over half cycle divided by length of the base and by substituting this finally i got it as 2 into i m by pi it should be equal to 0 0.632 times of maximum value this is the analytical method to calculate the average value